My name is Ryan McDaniel. You also know me as Loremeister. I'm the lead content manager for S2 Games. Uh, the, the new map has um, a variety of different technical pieces that we tried to put into the design process. Um, if you look at the, the various details on the map, um, you'll see that it's a different level of detail than we've had in the past. Uh, in the past, we had a really deep uh, multi-layer texture that you really had to have a, high, a super high resolution monitor to be able to really appreciate. The detail is amazing in, in both iterations. But in the new map, we've tried to clean that up, make it a little bit crisper and more pleasing to the eye. And you'll notice that throughout the entire process. Um, from the new pathways that are built out of cobblestones instead of a mixture of dirt and, and, and grass to the actual um, pieces that are underneath each tower, the, the stone monuments and the fountains themselves. It's a brand new, uh, it's a brand new looking map. It's, it's very deliberate in that design. Um, we initially took some very large textures and then we kind of toned them down and shrunk them down to be the, just the right size. So it's pleasing to the eye, it offsets the hero, and uh, at the same time, it, um, it brings another level of detail to the map that wasn't there before. So what you're going to see now is the heroes even popping more. Against the dark background, certain heroes, um, they didn't have quite as much flair as you might see now. Um, the lighter backgrounds, the lighter textures, especially in the Legion side, are really going to let you see more of the hero and more of the details that they actually have. Um, also in the layout of the, uh, the bases themselves, rather than just being in a big field of grass, um, there's paths and, and roadways where the people that would be in that base are, are actually at. Um, what they would have to use, and it gives you an idea for where you're going to go as a character, um, as your hero, when you're moving throughout there. Um, so it's going to give it uh, a little bit more identity than what you had before. So, it, and whether you're Legion side or Hellborn side, you're going to see that the, the bases themselves are actually thought out and designed like maybe you would if you were trying to design a fortress to protect yourself. Uh, that's kind of the thought behind it as well. Um, and once you're moving off of the bases into the jungle pathways, um, in addition to the new trees and the new things you're going to see there as far as the, uh, the coloration and, and pieces, you're going to actually see that the neutrals have to get around as well. So there's, uh, there's smaller paths throughout there. Some cobblestones, not quite as much, a lot of uh, dirt pathing, but it looks kind of like game trails where you would expect to see someone who lived in the wild using to get from point A to point B and, and sneak around wherever they needed to go. Um, so your characters, your heroes, especially for those new players, are going to be able to easily identify what the paths are and where they might lead to. Um, one of the biggest things we wanted to do uh, for the 3.0 map revisions was to actually give the map a life of its own. On one side you have the Legion. It starts in a very spring type feeling. Um, there's bright grasses, bright flowers. The, the base itself is, is covered in life um, from the world trees just, just spreading out. And then as you move further and further away from the base, it transitions to a summer feel and then you're gonna see that the leaves start to change color. They actually move into autumn. And the reason it's happening so quickly is because of that presence of the Hellborn, uh, which represents death and destruction, basically, the decay. Um, once you hit the river, you're in full autumn on one side and the leaves are turning brown and gray on the other. So they're dying um, once you hit the Hellborn side. And you'll progress from those dying trees up into Deadwood, um, not the hero, but into Deadwoods themselves um, that are everywhere uh, as you approach the Hellborn base. And as you get to the Hellborn base itself, it becomes barren. Um, you've seen the Hellborn base, how it's all rocky and craggy. That hasn't changed. But the, what the big difference is, is the life flowing underneath it. You can see the, the lava, the blood of the Hellborn that, that, that's coming right out from the, from the well itself um, and working its way throughout the entirety of the Hellborn base. Just uh, seeping through, burning the trees, giving destruction. Um, so there's a stark contrast in those uh, thanks for checking out the brand new map video. Uh, can't wait to play it with all of you on January 31st when Han 3.0 goes live.